Hi there. Okay, this is a very quick video before I start my full day of recording actual videos. Though I might upload this one after I upload one with real content. But anyway, there is a YouTuber out there. His nom de plume is Millennial Woos. Now this guy has some ideas, most of them very, very far outside of the mainstream. Some of them quite commonsensical by my admittedly extremist standards, and some of them rather wacky even by my standards. Nevertheless, he absolutely has the right to hold his ideas, right? Well, apparently not really. Because you see, he is unfortunate enough to have been born British, and in Britain being allowed to have your own ideas is haram. As a result, the tabloid press painted a target on him and lo and behold found out his identity and his address, and then published it, and then went there to interview him, and when he declined, uh, he w they went on and harassed his neighbors to virtue signal to them what a racist, sexist, whatever millennial woos is. Oh, it is funny because one of his neighbors who knew him since he was a kid was like, yeah, he's a bit dark, but hey, it's a free world, and essentially shrugged the virtue signaling off. <laughs> I mean, that was a bit funny to read, I, I gotta admit. But in any event, following this debacle, he's now into hiding since every single news agency is knocking at his door and he had to call the police to keep the press out. Now. Whatever you may think about his ideas, and again, I'm not particularly a fan of most of his ideas, this is still immensely fucked up, no matter how you look at it. He's also not the first YouTuber, to my knowledge, to be in this position. Tommy Sotomayor, a sort of a black nationalist and really, really a funny guy, I definitely recommend his content, also had to switch houses multiple times because of very credible threats of violence involving weapons. Freedom of speech is a dangerous business, my fellow deplorables, and taking necessary precautions can never be stressed enough. Now, what's more relevant in this story is the fact that this did not happen by accident. I mean, it's not like Alan McEwen, the quote-unquote journalist who published a series of articles on this YouTuber was just, you know, hanging out on the internet and suddenly stumbled upon his channel and got his information and thought to just virtue signal a little bit by doxing a racist. No, 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 that's not how it happened. No, this was a coordinated one-year-long effort with two Daily Mirror employees in conjunction with several anti-fascist campaigners, which is Cathedral Media speak for communist thugs. Anyone who has ever met an anti-fascist campaigner knows exactly what I'm talking about. With the notable exception of a few small skinhead groups in Serbia, the most violent politically motivated groups after Islamists in Europe are the anti-fascists, who in spite of their name are a lot more fascist than the fascists themselves. Heck, even Islamists leave you alone from time to time, but not the anti-fascists. Now, most of the group that helped do this called, uh, is called A Thousand Flowers, and there were ransoms offered, amounting for, uh, to several hundred dollars, for whomever managed to dox this guy. So this wasn't something that, you know, just happened by accident. There have been cases in the past of doxing of people, but most of the times it was simply by Google searches and finding out already public information and just amplifying it. This is different, though. This is leftists actively conspiring to do harm. Now, the good news is that we already know most of the people involved, and I'll leave some links in the low bar. And by the time I publish this video, we will probably know all of you. Now make sure you don't have a criminal record, kids, because the deplorables will exploit that, and I will enjoy it. This is why I'm in the business of proactively going after leftists instead of reacting to their nonsense. Doxing commies should be standard operating procedure. If everyone watching this would spend four, year, four hours a month contributing to a blog dedicated to ousting commies, the world would be a better place. These sleaze buckets wouldn't be so keen on doing what they've done to millennial woos had they been constantly under pressure themselves. 
Now, unlike other YouTubers, I don't see this incident as an absolute disaster. Yeah, it is inconvenient for sure, as Millennial Woos had to leave the country for a few weeks until the tabloid storm passes, but over the long run, he'll be better off. What I do see this incident, however, is as a reminder of how evil the left is and why their ideas must be crushed and they as individuals tied to their ideas. In fact, it's funny that the mirror closed the comment section after the commentator started discussing doing to Alan McEwen what he just did to Millennial Woos. This shows that the press is nothing but a bunch of cowards. Millennial Woos was under no obligation to disclose his identity or really anything about himself. Yet this poor excuse of a human being pretends to be an accredited journalist, yet he's more anonymous than Millennial Woos was. This is going to be a fun party for sure. Many keks shall be had and many discussions shall be started following this thing. Because remember, it's not just about Millennial Woos. Heck, I don't even like the guy that much, but this is precisely why I care. For if you don't defend those with whom you disagree, then you don't really believe in freedom to begin with. This is about everyone with a political opinion that is outside the permitted corridor of opinions on topics like feminism, immigration, the religion of pieces, race, IQ, culture, heritage, and many, many other topics. You don't have to agree with him, or myself for that matter, on anything in order to see the value of anonymity and the value of having unfettered freedom of expression. Make an argument if you think someone's wrong, or ignore it altogether, but such silencing tactics need to be discouraged. Now, as far as I understand, what the tabloid did is illegal per se, and Millennial Woos has legal recourse to pursue. Now, I hope he does just that, because, you know, these asshats should be taken to the cleaners and made to pay through their noses. Now. What I do fear the most, and this is why I'm so adamant about going proactively after them rather than waiting, is that such tactics may end up having a chilling effect without anyone even knowing. Who knows how many YouTube channels will end up not being created in the first place because their prospective creators see what happened to Millennial Woos and they decide that fuck this shit, it's way too dangerous. That is a chilling effect, and that is something that I'm not fond of to seeing happening. But anyway, I'll leave uh, Millennial Woos' info in the description so you can see for yourselves who the guy is and what he believes. The way I know my audience, you'll probably agree with 30 up to 50% of what he says, but then again, even if it had been 0%, this shit is wrong. You don't publish a man's home address and full name and then harass him at his front door and then invite more leftist thugs to do the same thing just because you don't like his politics. Now, too bad the United Kingdom citizens aren't armed. It really is too bad. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll be back in a few hours with more real content uh, and we have a lot of things prepared for you in the coming days. Talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching.